Greetings from the Frederick Town Homestead. I thought you might find this interesting. I'm not at the homestead. I'm at one of my Amish friends' cornfields. And we're right at the edge of where he finished working the last time. He was out here picking corn. And uh, he started from over there by the schoolhouse. And he's working this way. He drives through with a couple of kinner couple of youngsters and uh, probably the youngest one drives the wagon actually the team flatbed wagon with a board on the far side and all of the pickers are on one side they'll be on this side over here and uh, the horses and flatbed work their way down through with three or four people throwing cleaned husk corn cobs up onto the wagon that's uh, to go to a corn crib. They drive right over the corn on purpose to try and knock it over. The uh, knocked over corn will then be uh, plowed in and worked up for next year's plantings. But uh, this is one way of doing it. It doesn't involve cutting off the corn. It uh, involves laying it down, and then it'll be disced in, um, chopped up with the discs. But you can see right at the edge of where they've stopped working here. And they'll drive over these. The horses will actually drive, walk right down through these rows. You put one horse's head in each of these spaces between the rows and um, they go right down in the wagon and the horses knock down the corn like you see it here and uh, that's the start of next year's preparation for planting and also the harvest of this year's crop which is the corn cobs the fodder here will not be used in this case when they pick it in this way but uh, the corn will go in to a corn crib and be used can either be ground and or send through a thresher and uh, picked out the kernels off the cobs or it can be used as feed with the corn on the cobs and uh, the cobs are just uh, if you're feeding pigs they'll pick all the kernels off the cobs and they'll kick the cobs out of their pen usually um, Corn cobs are what we're going to be using to use the for uh, the fuel for the smoker for smoking our meat. If you're interested in this kind of thing, I invite you to subscribe to the Fredericktown Homestead YouTube channel. Um, we post daily. We're uh, trying to grow our homestead. We don't spend any money on our per se, on our YouTube uh, presentations. We don't buy cameras. We don't, it's all on our phones so far because we haven't been paid anything by YouTube yet. When we start being paid, then you'll start seeing us, uh, we'll be adding better stuff in our, we'll, uh, get cameras maybe I don't know they've actually got a camera at the house but they don't seem to use it phones we always carry with us and they seem to work just fine and the beauty of a phone is it will also upload it directly to YouTube but when we start making money that's when we get to a thousand subscribers we're now at uh, 600 and change 615 I think um, when we get to a thousand we start getting checks and they start out at less than a dollar per month, and it takes time for them to grow from there. But uh, we get paid according to likes and subscribers and comments and shares. Those are the ways they count how good we are. So if you can please subscribe, like, comment, and share that they all those things would help our channel uh, we live in the middle of an Amish community 
I try not to get pictures of the Amish, but of what the Amish do, and uh, and of what we do at the homestead. So, I hope to see more of you and read your comments. I enjoy comments. All right, God bless.